It's Tuesday, August 28th. My parents and I are both leaving the airport at the same time. We're going to Seattle. I'm driving out, they're flying. They're gonna drive back, I'm gonna fly home. They're gonna arrive at 7 p.m. today. And I'm gonna arrive on like Saturday or Sunday. We're going out to visit my sister. I visited her once already about a year and a half ago in the winter time, so that was cold. We didn't get to do a whole lot of outdoor stuff. I'm gonna do a whole lot of outdoor stuff this time. I'm gonna hit up a couple national parks along the way. I'm gonna try to camp every single night. I don't wanna stay in a hotel. So I'm headed west now. I'm gonna be on Highway 70 for the next day, basically. I'm gonna be well acquainted with this rental car by the end of this week. I'm 50 miles into this trip right now in this car and I'm seeing a six CD changer, a nine, nine CD changer, I think. It looks like it. Any, anyway, it's a CD changer, and I'm looking around, there's not a single auxiliary jack, which makes absolutely no sense to me. I can't link my phone while I'm driving, so that's kind of an issue. I'm gonna need to pull over in a bit to kind of get the phone and the music situation squared away. Also, my sister has lived in Seattle for two years, exactly. And I'm somehow driving stuff out to her. That's like a moving van, basically. My plan was to possibly sleep in this tonight. Yeah, I've got no issue with curling up in the back seat. I've done it before in a smaller vehicle. It's just a matter of having room to do that. But I don't know if that's really going to be an option given all the stuff in here, which probably about 15% of is my actual stuff for a 10 day trip. I don't know. People need to pack lighter. Just uh, taking stock of the situation. I can probably all go back there in the trunk and that will hopefully leave a lot of free space for me to sleep in the back there if need be. I might be here for a bit trying to figure this out. Oh, so much stuff. There's so much more stuff here than I thought. Took me about 10 minutes and two attempts, but back seat is clear. Everything fit in the, the back, the trunk area, I guess. Issue number one is resolved. Now I gotta try and figure out this, uh, this uh, sink stuff so I can have some tunes and then I'll be well on my way. Phone is paired. So everything is uh, in order for proper road trip now. about right in the middle of the state of Kansas along Interstate 70. I've been awake for a while now. Been running off with two hours of sleep, so I think I'm gonna turn in for the night. 
curl up in the back. So we'll see uh, how much sleep I can get. Got a pretty cozy setup back here in the rear seat of the Ford Escape. Should make for a decent couple hours of rest. It's 5.30 in the morning. This rest stop outside of Garfield, Kansas. I slept about almost eight hours in the back seat here. Pretty comfortable, really. Scrunched up pretty good, but just roll over and find a new spot to get comfortable and go back to bed. I'm pretty awake. I feel pretty good, so I may just hit the road. It's like actually chilly out. Great for sleeping. Alright, let's hit the road. Sounds cool. Probably just gonna pull over and check it out. And this is one of those uh, places. Hopefully. To cry on return from sleep. And in the daytime, the short is a different thing. cows out here. No gels. Aside from the occasional moo, it's pretty quiet. Completely wiped out. It is 10.30. I'm going to bed.